Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. Today we're heading to Family Dollar. I got a tip that said they sell baseball cards. They sold them last year. And they've got some cheap baseball card packs in here. They've got basketball as well and other sports. But they've got these big league blister packs. They're $5 a pack and there are autographs seated one in every 10 packs. So we're gonna grab a bunch of these. We'll open them up and see if we can find any autographs. There you see some NBA hoops. They also have a whole bunch of 2023 Top Series 1. Those are $1.25 a pack. So at the first location, I spent about 50 bucks, and I went to a second location and spent 50 bucks there as well. They're all out of the Series 1 packs, but they did have a whole bunch of the opening day uh, blister packs. So we're going to open all these all up. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, and let's see what we can find. All right, everybody, I'm back from Family Dollar, and yes, Family Dollar sells baseball cards. So if you're looking for a new place to grab some cards at, obviously Walmart and Target are always good options. Nowadays, cards are typically on the shelves. Stuff like Big League and Series 1 you might be able to find there. But if you don't have a Walmart or Target around and you have a Family Dollar around, maybe that's a good option for you. Now, I was kind of intrigued by these. It says there's three assorted cards in the middle of these packs. You can see them right there. And also it says that game use and autograph cards are seated one every 10. So I figured let's go ahead and grab, what did I get, like 15 of these or so? Maybe we'll see if we can find an autograph card in here. So we'll see if these are worth it. They're pretty cheap. The Big League Blister Packs, three packs plus three assorted cards. These were $5. And the Single Packs of Tops with five cards was $1.25. So basically, they're about the same price. Maybe, um, I don't know, maybe this is a little more. Maybe you're paying extra for the packaging, more per card. But uh, the chance of autographs and relics... Are, it's pretty good. One in ten. That's actually great. And uh, that's actually better than a hobby box. I mean, you pay $5 a pack for a hobby pack of, like, say, base flagship tops. You have a one in 24 chance of an autograph of Relic there. So that might, this actually might be something. These big league blister packs might be something to go to. So let's go ahead and get started. Our sponsor for this video is TBA to be announced. As uh, I am filming right away, I just listed it and I have to film right away because I have to run off to a Little League game and I don't want to be late. So um, thank you, whoever you, the sponsor will end up being for this one. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what we've got. If there is no sponsor, then these will all be for me. We're going to start off with these. By the way, I, I guess I maybe I should just do one pack at a time. There's five cards in these packs. And they are $1.25. They're just going to be base 2023 Tops cards. So you're paying like 20, oh, I'm more than 20 cents a card. You're paying a quarter a card, 25 cents per card right here. And it's all going to be base cards. You're not going to find any numbered cards. You're not going to find any parallels. You can see that there's no odds on the packs right there. They're just, these would be good if like, I don't know, you have like a party for a kid and you you're inviting a bunch of younger kids over that might not care for cards that much. And uh, maybe you want to make up a little gift bag for them. But you don't want to put hobby packs in there because you know they won't be as appreciated. So maybe just a $1.25 pack would be a nice thing to put in there. Or maybe you got a, a youngster that is just getting into cards and they don't handle cards that well. This might be a nice couple packs to pick up for you. But at a quarter card, I, for the series collector probably not worth it i mean you're better off going to a card show and going to the quarter box and picking out a bunch of you know nice rookies and stuff like that up and coming undervalued rookies as these are mostly all common so far the best card you can find in these would be the adley rushman base card there's vladdy right there Raphael devers so overall i picked up i think eight packs there so you're probably seeing maybe about ten dollars worth of packs and uh didn't get really anything in there at all uh just a bunch of base so i figured i'd pick up a few of those i knew they were going to be like that because that's the way they were last year but these are very interesting to me three factory packs three assorted cards where are those cards going to be are they going to be special cards exclusive to these blaster packs are they going to be older cards from a couple years ago the tops has laying around are they going to be 2023 cards I don't know, but one thing you can see is you can turn it sideways and you can kind of get uh, a cross-section view of what's in there. So you got to be careful because somebody looking for a relic might be able to see that thick stock card on them. Like this one here, this has a thicker stock card. This one looks like there's a chrome card on the bottom of this one. So and you will be able to kind of look in there 
and see if there would be a relic. So you gotta, you know, keep out, keep them out for that and make the pack searching easy, I guess. All right, so let's see what we have. So we have our big league packs, and I'll open. I'm not gonna open up like 50 big league packs of this video. Uh, they're all mostly gonna be base cards. And wow, we have an autograph. How about that? And I'm actually surprised that they are putting Panini products in their pro. What? What are they doing? They put a Panini autograph of Mark Coxton in there. I would. Uh, I, I would have never expected that. It's a Elite Extra Edition from 2008, so an autograph already. I'm wondering if the autos are going to be just kind of like dollar box autos. That's a dollar box auto right there. There's no, there's no big value in that card. As I don't even think he ever made the big leagues. So here's what you would get in a pack of the big league. It looks like you're going to get a foil in every pack, which is pretty nice. You get one of those in every Hobby pack, check that. You don't get a foil in every pack. Maybe you get one foil per blister pack. Here we go with this next one and another foil. So it's not too bad. A couple foils if you like parallels. On to the next one here. We'll open up all of these and see what the uh, the bonus cards are going to be. But the packs themselves, I don't know if I'm going to have the uh, patience to open up a whole bunch of... Just dollar big league packs. But I what did want to give you an idea of what's in there. All right, here's this next one. Our bonus cards. <laughs> Absolute weird. So tops is there's a Tatis in there from 2023, and uh, this one is a special Tatis. It's a it's a parallel of sorts. This one is the San Diego Padres team set parallel of Tatis from 2023. I just can't get over the fact they're putting Panini cards in, in a Topps product right there. Licensed by Topps has their logo. Oh, you know what? MJ Holding Company. There's your answer. These are actually put together by the MJ Holding Company. We should have known better. They're using Topps logo on there, so Topps probably gave them the permission. But MJ Holding Company maybe didn't divulge that they're putting... Panini products in what looks to be a Topps product. I mean, they're using the Topps logo on there, so I thought it was going to be Topps. Good old MJ Holding Company is back again. And we have some base cards right there, and that's a Texas Rangers team set card. Kind of interesting that they... I guess all those teams there... Who buys those team sets? I don't know. I always see them on the shelves. I guess if, you know, like, for example, around here, the Pirates team set would sell, but they always have a bunch of other teams i'm like who's gonna buy like a texas rangers team set up here in pennsylvania they just sit there and i guess eventually they get sent back and then mj holding company needs to figure out what to do with those so i guess this is one way they're getting rid of their cards at least they're utilizing the cards and not throwing them away i guess it's their creative way of making you take their overstock in the next pack we have John Aheim, JT Realmuto. Just a bunch of base cards there. And yeah, that's also from a team set. Texas 3. I never buy those team sets, so I didn't even realize until just a minute ago when I pulled that Tatis that they actually number those cards like that. Here's this next one. Good thing for the box cutter. Because this pack does not want to open up. And it's kind of clamped in there looks like we've got a nice little opening of that pack at least hey we got the mickey mantle that's from those mantle boxes and four cards in there a bonus card so this mantle card here was from those 2021 mickey mantle boxes that were sold on top's website two years ago and we also had a uh, here's a big league pack for you nothing going on there we also had a very interesting opening with those on two different occasions we opened 40 boxes in a preview video, and we got just the most bo amazing boxes ever. We pulled a mantle autograph, and we also pulled 20 numbered mantle cards, 20 parallels. Beat the odds. The odds were one in every five. So I was like, all right, I'm going to buy some more. Let's do this again. And I bought 60 more boxes from Blowout Cards, and uh, we op ended up opening 47 of them. After we opened about 10, everyone in the chat realized something was amiss. 
Not a single numbered card. It ended up being 47 boxes in a row without a single numbered card at all. Not even a single numbered one. So I contacted Blowout Cards. I actually talked to the owner directly. And uh, he's going to sell me more boxes at a discounted rate. He said it came like that from Topps. It's an error on Topps' part. Uh, they were pulled directly from a sealed case. Hey, we got an 86 Topps card there. Even offered to uh, FaceTime me and let me pick the case. And let me watch the, uh, the boxes being taken from a sealed case. So we're going to do that. And hopefully we get some good mantle boxes this next time. We'll run that break again and pass along the discounted rate to our customers. I don't know. Hey, another autograph. TJ McFarland, who played in the big leagues for a while. So two autographs. That's about what we were expecting. Rick Russell, 86, is in there as well. So there is a chance of autographs in there. So for those of you that may have seen these or maybe didn't know about them and were wondering about what type of autos, they're going to be buyback autos. TJ McFarlane, that's his first Bowman Chrome auto. At best, that's worth a couple bucks, nothing too crazy. Joe Musgrove, Curtis Mead first. That's a nice one right there. That might be the best base card that we've pulled so far. Curtis Mead is a nice prospect. On to the next pack here. Four trading cards. Adley Rushman. All right, we're heating up a little bit. Juan Soto's in there. High five futures. Adley Rushman card is a great one as well. And we've got four packs left before we wrap this video up. Again, all the big league packs that are left there, we get we have an idea of what's in there. It's mostly just going to be base cards. We'll go ahead and send those off to whoever ends up sponsoring this video. And if no one, I'll just end up with them and I'll take them into school once school, school year starts back up and give them away to the kids as prizes when we do review games and stuff like that. RJ Reynolds, Marcus Semyon is in there as well. Here's the next one. This is $100 worth of cards. At least that's what, what it costs for all these. So you do get a bunch of uh, a bunch of packs. You could almost get uh, not quite 100 packs, but there's a lot here. As they average out to $5 divided by 3 is what? Oh, this one's already opened. Weird. What is that? Um, like a, a dollar fifty a piece would be about four fifty, so that's a little more than a dollar fifty a pack on these big league cards. Probably like a dollar sixty-seven or so. Here's this final one. So about a dollar sixty-seven a pack for the big leagues, dollar twenty-five for the tops. Not a bad deal if you just want to rip some packs. But again, with these here, you're not going to really find any. I don't think you're going to find any parallels. It just says for approximate odds per pack, go ahead and go to tops.com. There are four card packs. So I, these are these are dollar packs, I feel like. I don't I mean there's foil cards in there, and that's about it. We'll open a couple more. With Big League anyway, there's really very few numbered cards in these to begin with. I feel like open a couple more. There's those foils. The blue foils are box hits. you got those to look out for. And then you've got the gold foils, which are really tough to find. Those are the hardest. Also, they have red foils. When hot with, with Hobby, it's 1 in 18 packs of a blue foil. 1 in 90 packs of a red foil. And it's something like 1 in is it like 360 have a gold foil or something like that. Let's bust open a bunch more of these real quick and see what's in there. And we'll have a second video. I think I'm going to do two videos today. I've got a, a bunch of monster boxes that I picked up at Walmart from Heritage or of Heritage. And I'm just wondering if they're any good. So we'll find out and we'll rip those open today. Hey, look at that. Did we get it? We did get a red. How about that? Justin Verlander. A red. That's a, that's a, uh, um, it's a rare short print right there. Or I guess it, it's a super short print, right? It's that. What's considered, I guess the blues are considered short prints. The reds are super short prints. And the golds are super, super short prints. So how about it? You can find good stuff in these. Let's open a couple more here. And uh, see if we can find something else before we get on out of here. The big league also have an auction tonight. It's going to be Carter's card sent in some stuff for us to rip open. So we'll be checking that out. Seeing what we've got in his consignment. I might toss in some stuff of mine. I didn't, haven't opened his box yet, but usually our auctions are at least two hours. And also for the last 30 minutes at least, we have members only time. 
or we have channel members that get to bid exclusively. We lock everybody else out and just go to the channel members and also give away free packs of cards to the channel members with every win. So if like you win a card, you get a free hobby pack. Basically pays for your subscription if you win one thing during the month. I think uh, being a channel member is $4.99 for the month. If you'd like to sign up, there's a link in the description. Also, we have a Patreon page where we sell our breaks. I'm going to put Team Break Tuesday on sale today, and I'm going to give away my J-Rod Auto rookie card to somebody in that break. All right, here's the last little run of packs. You can see a bunch of base cards. All the good rookies are going to be short printed, like the Adley Rushman is a, a red, etc. So they're tough to find. But you get an idea of what you can find in these packs if you want to pick them up at Family Dollar. Head on out there and see what you can find. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday, and I'll see you in a little bit for the live auction later tonight. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody.